welcome to the lab session on modern data optimization techniques today we will see about these two programs the first program is about matrix addition matrix subtraction multiplication and transpose of the given matrix and finally inverse of the matrix let us see how it can be done using our language so our first step in this program is first we will read the number of rows the number of rows and columns required for the two given matrix rows and columns so the first two statements it will tell you to read the input from the user so when you first execute the first line so you can see in the console here you have to enter the number of rows say for example i will take number of rows is 3 so first line is executed and you select the second line to execute or to get the number of columns so let us suppose i will take 3 by 3 matrix so for this case once we have read rows and columns our next step is initialize the matrix a so let us execute these two statements we select those two statements and we click the run button okay and the next step is to get the data from the console so here our logic is we use the two for loops one for uh, uh, row and another for column so when you are entering the data through console it will directly store in the a matrix let us see how we will pass the data one two three one two four three so we have to enter nine elements similarly let us execute the b matrix statements let us input 5 so 6 7 0 3 so it is all 3 by 3 matrix we have taken so finally we entered the data for both a and matrix and b matrix let us perform the first operation matrix addition using or so for performing addition we can use this symbol plus symbol directly and we can print the result let us see so the output of the a and b matrix are 6 8 10 2278109 that means uh, the addition is performed in element wise manner and we will get the output so the symbol we will use in our statement is plus symbol similarly for performing the matrix addition because our next program is subtraction so just we have to use this symbol arithmetic minus symbol hyphen you can say just you execute it and we get the matrix subtraction similarly our next task is to calculate the multiplication to between two matrix so if you use the star symbol the main problem is in our language uh, elements are multiplied in element wise manner so let us do first that one so if you do that what will happen means the numbers in the corresponding portion are multiplied in the element wise manner 
but we want actual matrix multiplication so what we will do means here the operator C is you can see this operator percentile and uh, multiplication and percentile so this is the actual operator you have to use for performing the matrix multiplication so let us run so this is the exact output so how do you perform matrix multiplication uh, take the first row of the first matrix and then take the first column of the second matrix multiply it and perform summation this you have to repeat for all rows and for all columns so the main thing you have to understand is you can see the symbol here percentile star percentile that is a symbol you have to use similarly for performing matrix transpose you have to use the function t function so you want to perform the a transpose means you use the t function and you pass the matrix a as a first argument so let us execute so you got the transpose of the matrix so what is transpose we all know just exchanging the rows into columns columns into rows so finally our uh, the thing is we have to find the inverse of a matrix so for that in our R language we are having a package called solve so let us see how we can use this for calculating inverse of a matrix let us select those statements and run it so finally we got this output in this way we will perform the matrix addition subtraction and uh, matrix multiplication matrix transpose and inverse of a matrix for inverse of a matrix we have to use this solve function for transpose we have to use a t function for matrix multiplication percentile star percentile okay thank you students